when someone first hears about Islamic banking, the, the typical first reaction is, how do you do that? Uh, how can you have a banking system which doesn't rely on interest? Uh, because interest is, is fundamental to the way we do banking these days. Our aspiration is to put to humanity ways of doing what they want to do in a better way. Better way in the sense of justice and fairness. Also in being more efficient. As you get deeper into it, one of the longer lasting impressions which you get is the piety of the Islamic bankers. The, the, the sense that they are not just engaging in financial transactions, but that in addition they are fulfilling, fulfilling a religious duty. Islamic finance as being a part of Islamic economics is much more than being about interest-free uh, finance. It's about trust, honor, integrity in contracts. Money can be the devil that can bring you closer to hell and it can be also the, the very thick wall to protect you from hell if you utilize it correctly. And that's why I see that any successful Islamic banking is the one that looks at humanity first, like looks at the person and develop the person who has control on the money to, to, to recognize God in every act. Lariba is a movement that we hope will catch on not only amongst the Muslims but amongst all people of all faith in Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Judaism and Islam. And it is a movement that looks at money as a tool, as a measuring device, not as something to be rented. Headquartered in Pasadena, California, American finance house La Reba is a faith-based financial institution. In 1987, a pioneering group of community members created this financial institution that has grown manifold since its modest beginnings. It has become the most recognized name in its field across the United States and around the globe. Islamic financing is a, is a total concept of financing. It incorporates uh, three or four different aspects. The first thing is it must be socially responsible financing. Uh, the second aspect is the rate of return that's uh, used for the financing needs to be marked to the market. It cannot start from a predetermined interest rate or any interest index. And the third most important item is it needs to be asset-based. Uh, this interest also is known as is uh, rent on the money, uh, which uh, is prohibited in Islam and many other uh, religions. We are out to disengage people's thinking in terms of riba or interest. We want people to think in terms of the economic viability of every activity they embark on. We make more of an effort than a, a traditional uh, riba bank at, at looking at the property or, or the car to see if it's a good investment or not. We do the calculation based on rent, not interest. La Riba is the only company in the world, and I say this without qualifications, that can reject your home financing or automobile financing application because it does not make economic sense. While you may have a good salary, a good house appraiser uh, who appraised your value property, uh, property pro uh, properly and, and, and you can be rejected. We are the only company and it behooves anyone, Muslim or non-Muslim, religious or non-religious, to please come and use us as a screen to make sure that what you're buying makes economic sense. La Riba serves uh, uh, many of the states within the U.S. and we're looking to expand the canvas and cover the whole United States. But we currently have offices in New Jersey uh, so to cover both coasts. We are the oldest community owned financial institution in the United States and our history uh, proves that, uh, that we are expanding and we are growing steadily and uh, stable, in a stable manner. They come here to satisfy their faith. So that is more of an obligation on our side to give them uh, the service that they require. It's basically that 
you do not take advantage of people when they actually need you or they're coming to you to invest their money with you. The whole way we treat our clients is a lot more like a family rather than a business transaction. I mean, we, we're on a first name basis with each other. Even after homes close, we still keep in contact with our clients and we keep that relationship going. My name is Morsi Badawi and uh, we started with uh, American Financing Company a uh, long time ago. We had a loan from the American Finance Company for the car wash uh, 10 years ago, and right now we are starting a new car wash equipment. We are going through the process to get another equipment lease or finance through the American Finance Company. American Finance House cannot lend for anyone who would like to do business illegally, uh, such as opening bar and selling liquor. Uh, we don't do that. It's haram. We are always on the client's side, I should say, um, and we are always trying to help them as much as we can. My name is Sayed Arabi, and uh, my company, Covers for Less, Books for Less, we are doing all kinds of printing and we are selling medical supplies and medical books. We deal with uh, uh, the Reba Financing Company for almost about eight years now. We finance through them about three machines. As far as financing, they are very good service. In my view, the biggest achievement was the agreement that Lariba has signed with Freddie Mac, uh, which is a, an organization started by the United States Congress in 1971. Now it is a public corporation. And also Fannie Mae, which is one of the oldest uh, home financing and mortgage corporations. Both of these organizations provide liquidity in the market. They have recognized our model, which I think this is a first in the history of RIBA free banking in the world. And it made us, American Finance House La RIBA, the largest RIBA free mortgage originator, not only in the United States, but also in the world. La RIBA provides the services and facilities for financing. Uh, home financing, somebody who is interested to buy a new home. It, is, it can be a condo, it can be a townhouse, it can be an independent house, it can be a duplex, triplex and fourplex also. My name is Masoud Nasimi and uh, I am a uh, civil engineer by profession. I decided to buy a house in Islamic way and Alhamdulillah American Finance House provided that for me. Now I have some sense of belonging. <laughs> I used to rent uh, apartments for the last 10 years and I was just uh, going from one apartment to another apartment due to the needs, uh, the rises, the kids was growing. Once you come to Lariba or Lariba family, you feel that you are also a member of their organization. They have the same problems that I have. They have the same goals and like, you know, needs that we all have. And we're trying to help each other, and that's our goal. My name is Ashfaq Shabandri. I'm working in KFC last 15 years, and I own this store last five years. Last year, our store was number one. So we got the award for best of the best, the best store in whole Southern California. Wow. Uh, I'm very satisfied because of La Riba. You know, we don't have to deal with the interest and all. They treat us like a family, you know. That's why we are very happy with them. I was very upset or frustrated at first because it looked like I'm not going to buy any house, <laughs> you know, at that time. But when we find out the American finance is, for me, it's really, a, you know, just a good news, very good news. Our understanding is no interest involved, which is that's the main idea that we, you know, choose the American finance company and. Um, that we have been founded and very pleased with that um, the American Finance House in during the process they have been very courteous you know and also provide a lot of uh, explanations it, it's a pretty pleasant experience and also that if possible you know I would even though introduce my friends you know only the people may or may not understand what does me what does that mean by no interest involved <laughs> Owning a home gives us a sense of security, uh, uh, besides the fact of uh, actually paying lower than what the going rents are in the area. We looked at interest rates and, uh, you know, to compare the interest rates, and in fact, Lariba met the um, mainstream rates that 
were Apartheid. being offered. American Finance House will not deal with you the same way a regular lending organization will deal. You can uh, get to the president through a phone call. You can talk to... You c they really, when you go to meet them, you get to, to be treated as a human being. They'll ask you about your family. When is your wife due? Um, we're going to invite them for dinner. We never invited them. I still owe them a dinner uh, after we bought the house. We respect our religion and we finance with everybody. Our services are available to anybody, whether they be Muslim, non-Muslim, any ethnicity or any other affiliation. My name is uh, Claudio Gallego. I'm a nephrologist and uh, I've uh, joined a group uh, here uh, that uh, has had uh, experience with American Finance uh, Company. I think they're interested in uh, community uh, expansion and uh, helping people to grow both financially uh, and they also want to uh, make sure that the people they associate with have something to give back to the community. I respect that philosophy. I think that transcends any religious uh, separations. My name is Jeff Shama. I'm a professor of engineering here in LA. We needed financing and, and this is Islamic financing and if it's available for us and uh, convenient uh, as it is, uh, we wanted to take advantage of that. We found the, the opportunity to be competitive with what we got with the bank, so financially it was uh, it worked out for us as well. The website of Lariba gives some background about Lariba's activities and it also has some informative links to other uh, information on the notion of Islamic banking and Islamic financing. So both the general background and specific uh, uh, projects of Lariba, their philosophy and their, their methods. And my first contact was through uh, emailing them through their website uh, as well. Honestly, I, I feel blessed that to work with the people I'm working with. It's, it's, there's, there's, they're from all over the world, so, and of course they're very committed to, to, our, to, to our mission, to the company's mission. We believe we have something to contribute to America. We're proud to be Americans, we, we live here, this is our home, this is our children's home, and we're trying to deliver a better system, a better product that complements the traditional system out there. We are a specialized house and we have a very recognized name as serious, innovative, high quality, transparent, American regulated finance company. The ultimate goal is to hopefully um, remove the word interest from every household in America. What if everyone said we won't pay interest? Well there is such a movement. In Dallas, ABC's Peggy Waymeyer. Interest is banned because under Islamic law, all parties to a financial transaction must share in the risks and the profits, and no party can be guaranteed a return at the expense of someone else. At this Muslim financial institution, one of a handful across the country, home buyers do not receive a mortgage. We've been very fairly treated by the American media, and uh, uh, we've, we've received great enthusiasm, ABC News, uh, a variety of newspapers. We've been invited to speak on public radio. I first got introduced uh, to American Finance House when I moved to the United States from Kenya, and um, I had no credit history uh, whatsoever. It was very hard to get any credit from anyone. And I was trying to establish myself uh, to start my residency and I introduced myself and without any knowledge of him ever knowing me, uh, he was willing to help me start or give me a loan without any collaterals uh, on the Islamic principles. Lariba is actually looking to build a community as opposed to looking at just the bottom line and the numbers. A, a community Lariba financier or Islamic banker is a person who doesn't only have money, but a person who is willing to sacrifice his own time, his own life, his own belongings to make sure that the community lives better. It's not only a matter of how much money you make in terms of return mm. on your investment, it is how many, asset, how many assets have you helped accumulate, how many households have you helped open up? How many people have you made their lives better? How many people have you touched not only their vision, their aspirations, their spirits, their hearts, but touched their pocket, their wallets? Because you can tell them anything you want, but end of the day you say, well, 
what difference did it make in my life? Am I eating better? Am I dressed, am I dressed better? Am I driving a better car? Am I enjoying better health care? And that is what a community banker, community financier should always be looking for. Mm -hmm.